Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Deponia. The last episode wasn't as <laughs> successful as we hoped it to be. We did make some progress after me literally losing my brains over the little puzzle up top. After lots of trying it out, I finally figured out how to get the small pigeon into the big pigeon hole. And our friend back there is having the time of his life. I must also admit something. Um, after we cracked the vault last time and all that stuff, I felt very stuck because all the other times I kind of had like another option to approach and I just didn't this time. So I did, I did do a cheeky Google. I'm very sorry. I just, I had to come clean. Um, but I also realized that it was probably good because otherwise there would have been just another episode of me not getting anything done. Because apparently I just fucked up somewhere. I am meant to take this cap, which I tried, but I thought it didn't let me. But that is, I think, because I pressed this, this circle and not this circle. Let's inspect it again and see if we can take this bugger home. Hey, the spare hatch of the replacement cats is padded with replacement cats spare hatch padding mattresses. Oh no, not this again. Can we take one it? for now and one for the road. There it is. That was the whole thing. I didn't, I didn't look any further. I didn't check if I missed anything beforehand. I literally just went straight to this bit. Um... And yeah, I, I just felt like there, there was something I was missing and whatever. Can we free these little poor buggers as well? Can I take them? No. Okay, fair enough. Because what we've done the last time as well, we um, listened to that lovely message the other mayor sent us again, which in the last episode I already told you. Shout out to Arnie again. Um, told me that, he, that I was an idiot because spells that I'm an idiot. Anyway, it told us that he thinks a cat ran across the keyboard and I thought I could put that bopping bird on there, which didn't work. But now we are the proud owner of two cats. So, <laughs> I bet their someone look at that. Because now I think that is the thing he's getting from the top. And then we had another communicator here, which has a lovely button on it as well. And I mean, we have one more. Can we put the bird on it? I want to put the bird on it. Next, please! Next, please! Uh oh. Next, please! Next, please! Is Lottie just constantly Next, saying that? Or is it Next, like. Please. I'm so Next, please! Next, please! One of the okay. few long distance please. radio devices in this backwater town. Please. Why are we paying an operator? If nobody's please. ever making a call. Lottie. I please. I'm very sorry, Next guys. This is going to be a thing in the background Next now. Because I'm hoping. Next, please. You're going to keep on yelling? No? Okay. My hope, the thing I said last time as well. That he just gets so fucking overwhelmed that he does not want to take it. Oh yeah, he looks Next, angry. Next, please. Aw, buddy. Next, please. You got shit to do all of a sudden. That's too bad. He's starting to break Next, out of his sweat. Hey, you who? Next, Hello. Please. Hmm. Oh, it's you again. Make it snappy Next, and busy. Please. Um, How's yeah, it's whack. Oh, hell broke loose here all of a sudden. Now even a second line Max, is constantly please. blocked. Now if someone else gets the idea of going into permanent save Max, mode, please. I'll go crazy. That's for sure. Next, please. Was there another one? Do we have to do another one? Next, please. Oh no, Max, was there another please. one? Can I transmit now? Not from this device. Max, please. He kind of very clearly told us that we need Next another line. Place. Where can I make my call from? Is it local? Yeah, where else? No, long Next distance. <laughs> Good luck with that. Besides this device, there's only one reserve Next system in the place. vault of the post office. Okay, I'll use the backup Next system. Place. You want to break into the vault? I'm beginning to believe what Next they say about place. you. You're suffering from a deluded sense of self-importance. Who's suffering? Who's suffering? All right, everyone. <laughs> Next yeah, yeah, okay. Place. 
Do we need to put one in the box? Next, please! Oh yeah, don't you get tired? Don't you get tired at some Next, point? Please. I have to admit, I'm pretty much getting fed up with this. If one more Next, of those morons please. down there gets the idea of going in a permanent transmission Next, dial, please. throw in the towel. Can I have Next, the headphones there? Oh, what? No! I need those for work. Next, so don't please. get on my nerves. Okay. Um, Max, I'm going you do that. You shouldn't be here anyway. I Max, totally agree. There are two things I can think of. Also, Lottie's Max, getting really please. annoying in the background. I'm so sorry about that. I mean, we have the radio up here. Can we put a cat there and send stuff? Or we, of course, also have the emergency call thing where no one ever fucking answers. Usually, I'd say funnels are for cowards. But after my third exploded tank... <laughs> Um, I was wondering if we could get that going, this maybe. Needs an adapter. Small jack to uh, big jackass. <laughs> I don't think adapter is the right thing for that, but sure. Um, we'll try to get... I always think that door is open and I'll just run into it. Next, please! Poor lot of I'm wondering if we technically would be next. Yeah, I've got that phone down here, which I'm kind of like, how about this? I couldn't take the bird with me again either, could I? I kind of feel like bird would probably work better down here, but we'll see, we'll see. And apparently it goes to the emergency station. Oh, and he's back in the emergency station now, hey? If Let's the citizens of Kuvak fear for their lives, they can call for help here, this thing ruined many good escape plans. Okay, let's just see if we can use it this time and someone's gonna answer. Because before and of course he wasn't in the station, so maybe now. Inspector Gizmo speaking. Ooh. You have an emergency to report? Uh, yep. yes. Tony has thrown out my drum set and I had just installed a paintball mode. What? Rufus! Yes? Please don't block the line. The operator is already stressed out. But this is about my rights as an ex-boyfriend. I... Uh, oh, man. I hate radio calls. Are those the kind of rights you have as an ex-boyfriend? I do want to see the modified drum set that also has a paintball mode. Sounds fun. No reason to be okay. alarmed. I've got everything under control. Uh, okay. I wanted to put the kitty cat here. How about you make a phone call, buddy? Inspector oh, Gizmo yes. speaking. You have an emergency to report? Rufus has stolen the screws off the children's merry-go-round. Rufus, I should have thought as much. What else do you know? Rufus has caused a nuclear meltdown. Rufus has stolen the antenna of Miss Sinkle's tractor. Oops. A little slower, please. I can't follow you. Could you repeat that, please? I don't How know if this know is that? a good idea. Could you repeat that, please? Oh, well, it'll be all right. At least the line is busy now. <laughs> the operator will be overjoyed. Mm. What else do you know? How does he know about? Rufus abused the harvester to steal tiles from the town hall roof. <laughs> Whoops. Let's see how our friend is doing now at full capacity. And what else do you I... know? Rufus abused the harvester to steal tiles. Okay. From the... Next, please. And I'm also wondering what we'll do with that extra cat we have. I mean, it's adorable. I don't mind keeping it, but. Why do we have it? In Rufus's weird world, everything has its weird Rufus purpose. Rufus has stolen the screws off the children's merry-go-round. Oh, bugger. How are you doing? <laughs> His Next nerves are wanting to frazzle. Oh, he's not even wearing Next them anymore. <laughs> His nerves are worn to a frazzle. Perfect. Max, please. Doesn't mind now, I let guess. This substance be hair gel. Max, please. Oh, gross. Please. I'm honestly, I'm not sure what he exactly needed Next, them for, please. though, because they clearly, like, just work by them coming out of that. Next, please. So I'm a little confused, but Next, how will we figure it out? I'm most of the time. Let's close that. Just tidy up a little bit. And let's see what we can do. Ready to go. Come on. Let's make a call, shall we? Oh, no, 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 no. Rufus, back in there, please. Thank you. And which button do I need? Down here, probably. Hey. Why do I stop? Let's just, we'll just select it. 
Hello? Is anyone Ooh. there? Hello? Uh, Cletus? Junk fly hazard in the northern quadrant caused by a flock of stampeding... Cletus! Come on! Your love is the most wonderful gift! Cletus? Cletus! <sighs> Rufus is the most wonderful gift. They call him Rufus. Rufus! <laughs> Searching for my fiancé, calling all inhabitants of Deponia. Hey, wait a second. Name is Cletus. I am searching for my fiancé. Possibly, she is... Cletus? Cletus! Is that you? This is Rufus. Can you hear me? Hello, Rufus? Are you on Deponia? Let's see, let's see. Yeah, I don't want to tell him right away. We'll start with that one. Of course one. I'm on Deponia. And where are you? On the Organon Cruiser? Or Elysium? That's none of your business. Well, yeah, we would like answers first. I've got to gotta make a trade here. Well, I need a few answers from you before we talk about your fiancé. Answers? Depends on what you want to know. Okay. Do we just want to start from the top? I feel like that, that makes Are sense. Are you really from Elysium? Of course I am, but I don't get why you should care where I come from. What's it like on Elysium? Well, it's not as dirty and uncivilized as down here, and the people are less annoying, too. Brilliant! Sounds like the perfect place for me. Um... Yeah, why were you on the Organon Cruiser? What was your fiancé doing on board an Organon Cruiser? That's none of your business. But isn't it a bit strange that a woman from Elysium was... Don't worry about things that go far over your head. Let's get down to business. Let's get down to business. To defeat... Cletus. Anyway. Yeah, what, what's, what's the whole deal? What's happening, mate? Are the Organons mate? planning something? Why do you want to know that? Listen, never get involved in matters of the higher spheres. You'll never understand what's happening up there above your head, let alone influence any of that. Don't even bother to try. That's not very nice, but sure, we'll ask anyway. Has your fiancé always been a bit odd? What? What are you talking about? Uh, nothing. Forget it. Um... Okay, yeah, we'll just go go into it, kind of see what he has to say about uh, it all. Nothing. Forget it. Uh, okay, let's assume for a second that your fiancé is suffering from a kind of um, concussion. A concussion? Yeah, but a purely hypothetical assumption. Then you shouldn't waste time and get her to me. You'll be very sorry if you've hurt her. I need her brain to be fully functional. You really love her, don't you? Um, Cletus? That is where you say yes. That's just always... I mean, he says he wants her for a brain, but it just doesn't seem for the right reasons now, does it? Yeah, you guys really engaged? And, and you two are really engaged? Why are you asking me that? Uh, nothing. Forget it. Oh, just, uh... Just curious. <laughs> chewing the fat. <laughs> Rufus! Does your fiancé have a sister by any chance? What are you talking about? Oh, it's just a... <laughs> just a thought. You should spend less time thinking. Seems like your head isn't up to the task. <laughs> it's probably true, to be honest. Just a good old slime bag always trying to get his way. Rufus, we had a mission. We wanted to get off Deponia to Elysium. Then you met a beautiful woman. I get it, but... You know? You're just, like, doing everything for all the wrong reasons here, mate. No further questions. Very good. Maybe we can go back to the matter at hand. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. Rufus, he just won that. Not you, so. <laughs> yeah, let's go back. No. Um... I mean, that is the main goal. I want you to take me with you to Elysium. <laughs> Impossible! Well, that's my price. Either I can come along to Elysium, or... Listen, I can't take you to Elysium. There must be something else you need. Um... I mean, we do want a lot of money, but that's how I mentioned. Keep the keep the keep an ice on the price. No, nope. I want passage to Elysium or nothing at all. Well, then you'll get nothing at all. Well, if that's what you want, you can go ahead and cancel your wedding. 
Wait a minute. Maybe there's a way. I knew it. Bring gold to me. We'll meet at the Lower Ascension Station at the shore of the Rust Red Sea tomorrow night. I'll be waiting on top of the platform. Do you think you can make it there? Tomorrow night? Well, I don't know. If, uh... I thought you wanted to get to Elysium. Or didn't you find goal after all? Well, I, I did. I did. Well, then we have a deal. I'll meet you after sunset. Cletus, over and out. Just, w w wait a second. I... Cletus? I was going to okay, say, I, there was more to say. Station. Down on the... Uh, up on the lower ascension station. Oh, God. Up on top of the platform. Ha! Huh, easy as pie for a guy like me. Elysium, I'm coming! Well, I personally have no clue where the fuck this is. I'd say, I feel like Rufus does. Probably not. We'll see if we, we can get any other signals here. I mean, I'm getting mixed signals anyway, but... Hello? Uh, Cletus? Are you still there, Rufus? Yes, it's me! I thought oh, yeah. you were already on your way! You said you wanted me t to meet me tomorrow. Why am I on my way now? Money. Money. A lot of money. That's blackmail! Well, fair enough. How much do you want? Well, I, I, uh... I don't know. Uh, how much is a ticket to Elysium? Don't make a fool of yourself, man. Elysium is not a, an amusement park. I know that. Listen, no money in the world can buy a ticket to Elysium. Okay, well then there's no deal. Keep your dirty money. I intend to, believe me. Good. Good. Just one thing. What exactly is an amusement oh, park? Oh, God. Rufus, you really don't have a way with words. Like bargaining? You should probably stay away from that, just as a heads up. Yeah, be the selfless person you are, Rufus. You tell him. I'm not doing this for myself. I'm doing it for gold. What do you think I am, a fool? If you're trying to squeeze more money out of me, you better just say so. Well, what do you want? More money. No reward is worth all this trouble. Everyone has a price, so why don't you quote yours already? What do you want? First, I need some answers. Can we get out of this again? Depends on what you want to know. About okay. the reward. I already told you. I'll take you to Elysium with me. What else could you ask for? Maybe a, a kind of contract? In writing? Oh, and how is that supposed to work, genius? My word will have to suffice for now. Um, two things about that. Number one. Do you trust Cletus? Do you think Cletus is actually going to take us along? Number two. Myself, being a freelancer, tells you, always, always, get a written contract. Always. Please do. It's not fun otherwise. It really isn't. Especially if you put in 60 hours into a project. And then you have to run after people, and everyone's like, no, I never said that. So please, please do me a favor. If you ever work freelance, get a contract. So now, let's, enough of that, sorry. Um, we'll see, maybe you can repeat that, and then we'll, ha we'll have a chat to go and see if she is up to a chat, or if she's all mushy in her brain again. Okay, where do you want me to bring your fiancé? Do you pony and stuff junk into your ears? We'll meet yeah. at the Lower Ascension Station. That shouldn't be Lower too far Ascension for Station. you. Tomorrow evening, after sundown, I'll wait for you on top of the platform. Did you get it this time? Of course I did. I'm not an idiot, you know. I'm not so sure about that. Not sure at Whoops. all. No okay, no further questions. questions. Can hey, I get off this Cletus call now? Over and out. Cletus over and out. Um... I do really hope that I personally don't have to remember this and the the game will for me because I think I will forget that. Is there anything new in the assembly hall? He's just snoring, isn't he? Yeah. And I just want to check the cupboard again after we, we put a little fire in there. No, we can't do anything. Okie doke, let's go and visit Goal. Uh, lovely, um, I guess kind of hostage. If we uh, look at the fact that Rufus is trying to blackmail Cletus for more money. So in instead of friend, girlfriend, whatever um, he most likely is never going to be. Um, she she now has kind of reached the state of as, as hostage at this point, I guess. 
Okay, what's new, party people? Uh oh. I am concerned. We'll find out if I'm right. Hello? But where is Goal? Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. What the? Hey, what are you doing? Gizmo? That scared the shit Look out of me. Look at you. Finally, I brought you to justice. What is that supposed to mean? It's me, Rufus. I know. And believe me, it was not easy to solve this case. The case of your missing IQ? No, I'm talking about a series of crimes that have been committed this very morning. Ever since that girl appeared, our community has been in turmoil. Arson, sabotage, disrespectful behavior toward the authorities. That you don't have any me. proof of any of that, you stupid idiot. Theft. Oh, I'm innocent. <laughs> Yeah, okay, let me rephrase Beautiful. that. If I am guilty of any crime at all, then that crime is love. Everything oh I did, God. I did for gold. Where is she, by the way? Has she gained full consciousness yet? No, but she needed more room. She's with Mr. Wenzel. What? That treacherous Mr. toad? Wenzel. That's unfair. I found the Elysian. Me! It was me! Oh. Who found the Elysian? Uh, uh -oh. Wenzel found the Elysian. It was Wenzel. None other than him. Excuse me, but who are you? My name is Argus. Bailiff Argus. Organon Prime Administration. Ooh, the prime authority in my office. And I forgot to brush my teeth. How can I be of help, Bailiff? I heard you have an Elysian woman in custody. These are community matters. Is that so? Interesting. What if an Organon search party was to reduce your community to rubble? Would that um, be community me? matters as well? Don't let him threaten you, Gizmo. The girl is with Mr. Wemzel. Gizmo, what? no! You'll find his house below the water tank, right next to the town gate. Thank you, Inspector. You just saved your community a lot of suffering. Yeah, Gizmo clearly is the hero of the story. Yeah, really. Well done. Shut up. <laughs> He's embarrassed about it as well. Hi, Gizmo. Guess what? I still have a pretty little key. You scare me. Oh, so is that like a side shave? Or just like a comb over that you're rocking? Is that like a Trump hairstyle? I don't like that music. That gives me kind of like. Wait a second. Wait a second. Really, Rufus? You dropped the key? It's on the floor. Pick it up. I can see it. Oh, come on. <sighs> no great in the world can hold me back. <laughs> there. It moved while you were blinking. It sure didn't. How did you manage? Can we talk to Gizmo? Maybe persuade him. As long him. as he's in police mode, I'm not going to be able to get out of here. Luckily, there's arson all the time in this jerkwater town. Oh crap! Uh -oh. I'm in here. <laughs> yeah, you are the reason for hey, arson. Hey, hello there. <sighs> what is it now? Um, <laughs> sorry for that popping up. Just seen that Jacob is playing some Mario Kart. Very nice. Anyway. Yeah, let me out. First let thing. Let me out. Let you out? Huh. Why in the world would I do that? I have to save gold from the Organon. Didn't you do enough damage for one day? You heard the man, didn't you? I'm innocent. Well, not in my eyes. All clues we found point to you, Rufus. Gizmo, you really gave up on goal like quickly as well. You're just like, she's there, take her, I don't care. The conditions in this cell are unacceptable. Are they really? So, you think you deserve better? I do. I neither belong in this cell, nor on this junkyard of a planet. Right. You think you belong to Elysium. I know I do. Why do you think they'd let someone like you into Elysium? A thief? A good-for-nothing drifter? A troublemaker? When I get a chance, I seize it. I determine my own fate. The only thing I see you seizing is other people's property, which then gets destroyed or incinerated in the process. Well, you can't paint a house without spilling some paint, and if it's highly flammable paint, then in the end, everything goes up in flames. <sighs> I mean, that's life. The, what a metaphor. Please um, have that be your next Instagram caption. Thanks. 
I don't think Gizmo's gonna believe us. Let's let's give it a go anyway. Maybe maybe we're really good at this. I promise to better myself. The irredeemable Rufus. Don't make me laugh. You're right. I'm pretty much perfect already. Time is running out. Already? Well then, brace yourself. I can tell you it's the third week in here that drives people insane. What? How long do I have to stay in here? Well, at least until the court case. But considering the list of your crimes... That's impossible. I have to save Goal. Well, you should have thought about that before you disrespected the law. Well, that wasn't disrespect. It was more like a... A spoonful of neglect. My doctor says my attention deficit syndrome might strike any time. Uh, where was I? I feel like Gizmo would be your doctor. I don't think there is anyone else. Also, just wondering, who spent that long in the cell? And does it just happen that there only only is one criminal in this town at a time? Yeah, this is the, the go-to, isn't I it? I need to pee. Please try to keep it in. I cleaned the floor just the other day. Will pee on you, Gizmo. I give up. Good. For now. Uh, oh, come on. You're nothing yeah. but a traitor, henchman of the Dart Exchequer. Keep quiet. I'm not a big supporter of the Organon. I only have the safety of our community in mind. Fire! Nice try, boy. But my fire detectors would tell me if there was a fire. Okay, I, ha I have an idea. We might need to sacrifice the last tree. I think we still have the the fire thing. I'm not 100% certain, but we'll find out in Medical a second. Medical emergency! It can't be that serious if you're still making a fuss like that. And now be quiet, you phony malingerer. Malingerer? I'm okay. hungry! Food will be served after sundown. Nat's piss and cactus bread. You'll have Gross. to wait till then. Um, Nothing! So why don't you just be quiet? Rufus is kind of like a kid in the back of a car on a long journey. Okay, so can we make a little pretty fire? That's it. I'll just set fire to the tree. Gizmo will go into firefighting mode and I can escape using the pole. Ah, if only I could reach the tree <sighs> from here. I just rolled my eyes so hard. It is a wonder they did not get stuck at the back of my mind. Head. <laughs> Can we light our number? I mean, we don't need that anymore. Right? Never! My inventory could burn! And Tony is not gonna mend it again. Okay, can we... Tony's tranquilizer. Dr. Gizmo says it deals with the symptoms only, mm -hmm. not with the cause. I wonder what he meant by that. Hey! That's my dad's divining rod. Yeah. Oh, oh, I can't even look at it. It melts my eyes. Oh, Jesus. And that's what we gave to the poor cats. Now I feel even worse. The clown amongst the anesthetics. <laughs> Clowns. Hey, stop it. Don't play with the divining rod. Chew. Can we combine it with a divining rod? If it already hey, likes playing it. with it. Don't oh, chew. Okay. Can we give the kitty cat this? Have it have a medical emergency? I feel bad. Nah, they just tear it to pieces and then send it back to Port of Fisco with the direct postage on it. <laughs> Probably hey, true. Stop it. Chew. Okay. Not necessary. Goal has her coffee black. There is a joke in there that I don't get. Okay, kitty cat, do I you want to let the cat out of the bag yet? Oh. What? What was oh, that sound? How the emergency? Oh. <laughs> quick, Rufus, quick! Fire control mode activated. Firefighter you Gizmo at your service. Anything? What happened? Rufus. Where's the fire? Oh, Mr. Firefighter, my poor kitty climbed up the tree and she's afraid to come down. Don't worry, madam. I'm a professional. <laughs> come. Kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> Genius prevails. <laughs> Are we gonna... Yeah, I was gonna say, are we gonna escape by ourselves? Do I have to press it? Well, cool! I guess that's what life as a free person is like. Can we finally go down here now? Nope. Got some more battery acid. I was ho Like, I hate it that they take stuff out of our inventory. I guess we should just go straight to Wenzel and see what's going on, even though I'm kind of... Oh, look, everyone's in front of the town hall again. Okay. 
Do they feel safe again because Rufus was locked up? Well, that's the wrong way. Well, what's the dealio? Rufus, why are you so slow? This is an emergency. Come on, buddy. You haven't got all day. So, yeah. We'll see. I've just, I don't really have a plan on how to save Gore yet. I also feel like Wenzel is going to be absolutely overwhelmed with it all and probably just hand her over. Because I was going to say, at least Rufus has a spine. I don't think Rufus has a spine either. We'll find out. What the fuck? Wenzel! Rufus! What? What are you doing here? What am I doing here? When ha! Oh. You know very well what I'm doing here. Where is she? Rufus, please, let me uh -oh. explain. No, you spineless traitor. It's not what you think. We'll see about that. Rufus? Ah! Pony? You? What are you doing here? Me? I don't know. Finally at a loss for words? I don't believe it. But I don't care what you think. There is an easy explanation for all this. What? No! no I, I don't even want to know. I, I don't even remember asking. Keep your gross secrets to yourselves. I just want to know where Goal is. Who's Goal? Oh, so your little lover boy here didn't tell you about his other conquest. Conquest? Wenzel, what is he talking about? Ooh. Why are you dressed like that? Well, um, I thought... Uh, Oh. oh. And who the heck is Goal? No one. Really? I mean, she's not even working properly. What the? Where is she, Wenzel? I Interesting. Put her in the basement. In the basement? Well, I see that you two have a lot to talk about. Have fun. Can we close the door for her? Can we? Can you be nice? Can we talk to her still? You used to have better taste in men. You know that? I mean. Wenzel. I'm just taking a shower for crying out loud. What the heck is going on here anyway? Let your new lover explain that to you. And put some clothes on next time someone comes to visit. Why that? She's in the shower. Come on. Leave her be. You simply locked Goal in the basement? Well, I'm just confused Tony about the cigarette. She could come around to try my water. I didn't want to have another woman lying around unconscious in the living room. It Wenzel? Would have somehow spoiled the atmosphere. Oh my wow. god. I didn't know you were such a romantic. Mm. Is there a an accidentally slip and impale him with the water rod option? I wouldn't mind. Oh, oh, okay. oh god. Go. Uh, water too small. Yeah. Uh, Small. Yeah, a small man. Don't worry. I'll get you out of here. Open up, Organon. But you're already inside. No Jesus. excuses. The strong suspicion arose that you are harboring a member of the resistance on the run. Rufus, what kind of mess is he in now? So, you admit your crime. We haven't been harboring anyone. He just burst in. Go ahead. He's down in the cellar. Uh-oh. I have to think fast. And on that note, that's going to be it for this, this, I was going to say this week's, don't worry, you don't have to wait that long, um, this episode. Um, there is some really interesting stuff unfolding here, isn't it? Also, I, f I do feel a little bad for Tony, and I'm jealous of Tony. Have you looked at her? Gorgeous. Anyway. Um, yeah, I just want to punch Wenzel in the face. I mean, I do want to punch Rufus in the face constantly as well, so I guess it doesn't really make a difference. Um, but yeah, our, our thing is going to be to get Goal out of here and save the day once again. Who would have thought that Rufus was capable of that? For sure not me. Anyway, it was lovely gaming with you guys. Um... Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, give it a like, um, help me out in the comments, introduce yourselves. If you don't want to miss any episodes, subscribe, and I will see you very soon when we will hopefully make our way out of here. Goodbye!